I have been compelled to do this live stream since last week. I was putting it off because it's not generally the kind of thing that I would talk about in here. However, I believe in fate and I believe in synchronicity and I also believe in going with my gut. So I'm going with my gut on this instance. Now the story that I'm about to tell you, I am convinced is going to impact at least one person on this live stream in a, in a seriously positive way. Now I shared, I had wonderful clients this morning and I shared this particular story with one of my clients. I felt compelled to share it with her and it made her quite emotional because it is something that she has experienced in the past and she knows that it is a problem for her and it's something that she is trying to fix. So this is the story. I don't know how you were reared However, I was always reared to use my manners. Be mannerly, be nice to others, treat them kindly, treat them the way you would want to be treated. And as a result, I always just use my manners. Now, when do your manners get you into trouble? When do being overly mannerly, when it is not required to be mannerly, get us into trouble? Now, when you don't have your self-esteem intact and when you don't have your self-belief intact, sometimes if somebody speaks really loudly or speaks very aggressively, we stand to attention and we listen and we do as we're told. That is kind of ingrained in us from us being kids. However, this is actually why I'm doing this live stream because this popped up in my memory yesterday. I wrote an article about this a couple of years ago. I wanted to share the story because I thought that it would help somebody. When I was in Australia in 2001, I was in a bar with some friends and Neil was already in bed. And I went to the bathroom and on the way back, this guy stopped me and he was like, so hey, what's the story? You're traveling and I was like, yeah all into it because I was like totally carefree, traveling for months, not working, we'd save really, really hard. It was the trip of a lifetime and I was living a video log. And I was just shooting the breeze, talking to this nice guy that stopped to ask me how I was. So he starts to ask me questions. Where have you been? Where are you planning on going? How are you going to get there? All the the nice things that you normally would ask if you were engaging in conversation with somebody who was traveling around the world. How exciting. But unbeknownst to me at the time, every time he asked me a question, he was taking a step forward. And as I was ask, answering the question, I was taking a step back. And what he was doing was, is that he was walking me out of sight of my friend's eye line and he walked me down into all I can say it was like a dead end corridor now there was double doors at the end which was like security doors but he was bringing me out of sight of everybody and my stomach started to scream at me my gut instinct started to scream at me this is not right run but what did i do i used me manners and i answered all questions like a good little girl and i kept walking backwards and he kept walking forwards and we kept getting further and further away from my people then i knew i was in danger and my feet wouldn't move i was frozen solid to the spot that I was in. And all I could do was move my eyes from left to right. I had my back to, no, I didn't have, I didn't have my, I had my back to the double doors. And all I could do was move my, my eyes left to right because I was so afraid to do anything else. And through the grace of God is all I say. Through the gap of a door, through, you know, like the hinge side, you know how small that is. Through the gap of a door, 
I made eye contact with one of Neil's friends, Desi. And I pleaded with him, with my eyes, to come through that door and save me. And I stared and I stared and I stared and I stared so intently, I got his attention. And he could see through the gap of a door, or maybe he felt it, I don't know, I never even asked him afterwards. I'd love to actually ask him. He scaled tables and came around the corner and grabbed me and said to your man, what are you, what are you doing? And pulled me away. And Desi said, Nick, you know, don't put yourself in, in, in dangerous situations like that again. Don't go to the bathroom on your own. Neil's not even here. You know, we have your back, you're, you're with us, you're here, but you can't be going off on your own. And so why would you let him walk you down into the corner, you know? But I used my manners and I did as I was asked. So I want you to ask yourself the question, in what circumstances are you using your manners right now that are not needed? Especially with people who are crossing your boundaries, okay? Now, in the post that I saw yesterday in my memories, the article that I wrote a couple of years ago, I was talking about um, if somebody knocks on the door, I used to, excuse me, automatically run to the door and answer it straight away without even looking out the window to see who it is. Could be anybody. Could be anybody standing on the other side of the door. Because I think it's, I used to think it was bad manners to leave somebody standing at the door for longer than 0.2 seconds, okay? And I realized this was a problem when I opened the door one day where I live and there was a very undesirable standing on the other side of the door. So now what I do is, is if somebody knocks on my door, I look out the window from upstairs. How can I help you? Because that's safer, okay? Now, I'm also reminded, I just, anything that's on my mind about this, I just need to get out to you because I know that this is gonna probably save somebody's life, okay? Um, there was an, you know that I love Oprah Winfrey and that I have never missed an Oprah Winfrey show in my life. I went to see her in New York. Um, I've watched every single Super Soul Sunday, anything Oprah Prime, anything to do with Oprah whatsoever. Um, I've watched it, okay? Masterclass, the whole time. So years ago, it was like late 80s, early 90s, there was a detective on her show and he was so passionate about this that when people are approached and pushed like I was, he stood up from his seat and he looked out into the crowd and he said, never get taken to the second location because you're not going to choose it and you are going to be the victim of a crime there. Okay? I'm getting shivers in my legs even thinking of it. That man had such a huge impact on me. Now, not enough of an impact for me to not, not use my manners in Australia that time. But that story stayed with me and continues to stay with me and haunts me to some degree if you go and Google that. Um, so I'm glad that I shared that story. I've been discussing this with my kids over the last week, the importance of going with their butt and not using your manners when it's not required. Okay, because sometimes in those instances, our manners will get us into trouble. Manners are required when you're going throughout your day and it's a safe environment. Or manners are required when you're in the world and you're communicating with other people. Or manners are required when somebody is being mannerly to you. End of story. I hope that that is useful. Take it easy. Slam. Are we still live? I think this is going to end now. Take it easy.